a bit more about the individual. The operating vehicle, this tool, is a six-point plan, which is endorsed by the Security Council in resolutions 2042 and 2043. That frames everything. Within that framework, the discussion we had was to take action at those locations where one has such horrific violence that you can't get in humanitarian assistance, people who are trapped couldn't get out, and work out ceasefire arrangements at these localities with possibly the help of uh, uh, UNSMIS. In both uh, Iran and Iraq, the governments committed to supporting the six-point plan. They supported the idea of political transition, which would be Syrian-led, and allow the Syrians to decide what their future political dispensation would be. We have so far not succeeded in ending the violence and moving forward. And it's still the, the fact today. The fact is that UNSMIS, regrettably, is not at present able to do the job that this council mandated it to do because of the regime's persistent refusal to take the basic steps to halt the violence. Iran is definitely part of the problem in Syria. It is supporting, aiding, and abetting the Assad regime materially and in many other ways, uh, and it has shown no readiness to contribute constructively. When preparing for Geneva meeting on the 30s, we're advocating for bringing all influential, influential players, including uh, neighbors of Syria, uh, to Geneva and Iran was mentioned, and Saudi Arabia was mentioned. Iran has a role to play. It is playing a role. Uh, and uh, ignoring uh, Iran, or just dismissing Iran on uh, some political basis, it's, it's, uh, it's not a very wise thing to do. Without putting an end to the funding and arming of the armed groups in Syria, it will be very difficult to see the plan of Mr. Kofi Annan succeeding on the spot with the Syrian government's commitment only as supportive of this plan.